Hello everybody, my name is Chris Winter and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about a traditional witchcraft as the title says and why I've gotten more into it than let's say the, dr the draconic path or my previous like wh whatever I was doing previously. So what is traditional witchcraft? So I don't know the, the definition quite yet since I'm still learning on it and I'm still like very new <laughs> to um, what it is and you know how uh, how it works um, but I did get a book about it I'm not sure where it is right now it should be in my bookshelf which is right behind my phone but it's not um, but I, I wanted something more deeper than, you know, Wicca, which is kind of new, you know, 1950s. It's more of a, you know, kind of like a, I almost call it like a stepping stone or guide to a different practice or a different path if you want to, you know, go away from, you know, Wicca and all of that. Um, it's a lot older than that, and, you know, I, I, I felt like my path wasn't really going anywhere, you know, I want to learn something new. I've been doing, you know, my normal witchcraft for about seven, almost eight years now. Um, you know, it's been the same. I learned from Wicca, I went into Draconic Witchcraft, which is kind of the same thing, except, you know, with different rules and different standards, but it's kind of the same tools. And then my friend Sergio, as you guys know him as Squitchy, um, told me about, you know, traditional witchcraft and how it's deeper and more involved and you know uh, historical and all of that um, he told me about it and I was very interested and I was like whoa there's there's something that actually exists that's not already you know that's not new and um, you know like has a set of rules which traditional witchcraft doesn't, which is nice, unlike Wicca. Um, so I started delving into it. I found out <laughs> that I that I don't really know as much as I thought I knew. Um, with traditional witchcraft, it was like, I had to relearn so many new things, like I never knew what a sting was, you know, what's um, the horned one, is that Sir Nuno's? No, maybe? I don't, you know, I gotta delve into it, you know, the the meaning of the devil in traditional witchcraft versus the Christian side of it. Um, the history with, you know, folk folkloric magic, I'm very, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm learning all this new stuff, like, how instead of the fae, they prefer little people, and you can call them, like, the wee people, and I love that so much, it's so cute. And I'm learning so much more, and I feel like it's making me look at the different aspects of, you know, different cultures and different practices, um, you know, it, like, the compass, you know, casting a compass round, it's very shamanic, um, and, you know, it's kind of like the circle casting and the Wiccan tradition or practice, religion, uh, whatever, witchcraft is practice, Wicca is religion, um, but it's similar but not the same at the, you know, not at all the same, it's different, <laughs> um, but you know, casting a compass round has been around since forever ago, but, you know, casting a circle, it was only, you know, 1950s. I've been watching a lot of, sh uh, Mr. Shadowboy, or, uh, I think, I think that's his YouTube name now. Um, I've been watching a lot of him, and I've been learning and learning, and I was like, oh my god, there's so much I don't know, like, how am I supposed to relearn this? You know, I, I, I lost my previous Book of Shadows, so... It, like, disappeared after I moved. Where you go. So, I'm starting a new one, and I'm really excited to get on it. Hello. I see one person watching. Hey. It's kind of late at night. Sorry. <laughs> um. But seeing how traditional witchcraft is so much different than anything I've ever experienced is really interesting. And I've gotten really into it, and... 
I'm ready to learn more. Um, here, that's a little life update for you guys, since my phone can no longer, uh, export videos that I make onto my computer, so I, you know, I can't upload, because my phone will take literally eight hours to upload a ten minute video. So I'm doing a live video and just throwing it out there. So, that's what it's probably going to be like. <sighs> Help. Um, and that's it. Why I'm delving into traditional witchcraft, because it's deeper, more historical, it has more, um, history, and it's, like, <laughs> I love it, I'm getting really excited, uh, yes. I hope you guys enjoy, uh, let me know what your practices are in the comments, I'd love to know, I like to, you know, know new practices, and I just love it all, I love knowledge, I'm like a sponge, soaking it all in, so... Hope you guys enjoyed my little live slash video. Uh, blessed be. I hope you guys have a great day. 2018. New year, new me. Just, I'm kidding. I'm still the same person. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a great year. Have a great day, night, whatever. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Have a good time doing it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry for the gapage between each video. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I have no excuse. Alright, and see you guys in the next video. Blessed be. Good night.